double three double four. But we are, Gemma, as I said, going to kick off talking about Richarlison's showboating. Um, for those that don't know, I haven't seen it. He come off the bench <laughs> at 1-0 to Spurs and then set up a brilliant, brilliant header for Harry Kane outside of the foot, bent one in. Um, and, 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 you know, it's one of those crosses. He looks up, has time, mm. brilliant cross. Kane does what Kane does best. And then about five, ten minutes later, maybe less than that, um, he, he starts juggling the ball, starts kicking the ball up, keeping it. And then Brennan Johnson had enough, the ball goes back into Richarlison and he gets upended. Um, what? Oh, Jason, that's a, that's a, that's me, by the way. Who's that? That's, that's, that's a yellow card, by the way. That's, that's a yellow card, that's that. That's poor from me. Can I just... Right, can that, I just that's close to a red. That's, no, it's, it's, a, it's only a yellow. 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 It's only yellow. All right, yellow. No, no, no. You, they, will, the they, will, they will build up over the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> over the season. Before we start talking about Richard, let's have a listen to what Graham Soon has had to say about it when he joins White and Jordan this morning. As a manager, I never want to see it. You don't want to see it. It's not nice, but I've done it. I've been on the pitch, but that was only because there was, you know, maybe something going on between me and a couple of their players or something. What game was that? When was it? I think it's happened more than once, Jim. It's showing disrespect. <laughs> but when you're young and you're full of yourself, sometimes you forget what you're instructed to do. I am guilty of that. Hands up. Uh, Graham Sewers, he joins White and Jordan every single Monday morning. That was his take on it. Gemma, what, what, what's yours? I, I've, my say is that, one, he doesn't, he hasn't earned the right to be doing that kind of stuff. You know, if you're, you're Thierry Henry, if you're Ronaldo, Messi, even Neymar, then, you know, you can, that's that kind of player. That's, that's their, they're, they're full of tricks. That's them. Mm-hmm. But it, it, it was the way he, he did it. It's not like the ball got flung in the air and he brought it out of the sky, kept it up. Fair enough. Then you go, oh, well, you know what I mean? You, you, you kind of applaud it. Mm. But the ball was rolling at, at yeah, zero miles an hour and then he flicks up himself. Mm. It's just no class. That was that was cheap. <laughs> it was it was, it was was ugly. It was horrible. And it had lack of respect for himself, for, the, for Forrest, and deservingly so, take him out well, because if he'd have done that in training now yeah, if he'd have done yeah. that in training I, I guarantee you there would have been a ruckus there would have been a ruckus well, and you and I spoke injured. about this Gemma because there are you know training does it gets really competitive but there are games where one side will will win it, yeah it'll be six sevens eights mm. in, in the five side right and then you start getting woo, the, the ollie, woo, yeah, yeah, and, and the back flicks and the nutmegs yeah. and all that starts going that's when you get fights yeah. that, that's when players have yeah. enough you are actually take you know your own teammates yeah. fall out and, and there can be no red card in this you know the, the, the manager or the coach at that time has got to sort that out so it can get tasty but it wasn't that it was he's just flicking it out and I found it amazing that so many people got so upset that was the thing that surprised me how people really got under their skin because it was just no class to it though couldn't it it was, it was actually classless it was it, 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 it's sad to see it's really it's, sad to see. If, okay, okay, let me ask you this. It's not. It's not like he came off the bench for starters. Yeah. It's not like. It's not like he's scored an hat trick. No. Forrest had just came up. He ended up playing against Liverpool or Man City. It's not even Forrest. So you're saying he wouldn't do that against Liverpool? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely. There might not. be something it's in that. Cheap, there might be something in that. Classless. Yeah. Sad. There Poor. might be. There might be shows something what in kind that. of shows, shows what kind of player he is and what kind of yeah, person but, he is. Yeah, I know, but we know what Richarlison is. We know the sort of player he is. We we all know. You know, the S-housery that he likes to bring to the game. If he's in your team, you love it and you don't mind it. If he's in the opposition, you have a problem with it. But it, it, is that not... All right, all right, OK. If he'd done that in training mm-hmm. and in Spurs, I'm guaranteeing you some of them players Hoiberg, are going through it. Hoiberg. Hoiberg, Hoiberg well, yeah. Hoiberg would take him out. If he did that in Sunday League, it would be in, it would be in hospital. Oh, in Sunday... Yeah, 100%. You're, n- you're not doing that in Sunday League. <laughs> No, no, there you, you go. No, do you know what? If that's, a, that's a great shout. If anyone has done that or showboated on a Sunday league or a pub game or with your mates, what happened? 03717 I've been there. I've had it, I weren't good enough to do that, right? I get the ball, I just give it, right? But Jan, I'm guessing you've showed, but I bet you give not, it. All. Not, not oh, like no, that. No, no, no. No, listen, <laughs> no, no. I've not. I've, I've, I've had the ball, controlled it, and, and kept it up. But right. I've not flicked it from the floor no. and then started juggling like like a clown. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, I've done a, a a trick that's it's good to control the ball from such a high or long distance and then manage to keep it up. Do you know what we saw? Uh, one of the one of the guys working on the show, Jack, or a back heel, 
or a back ear or a yeah. little flip. You know one, what I mean? one of the guys on the he, he showed us not that long ago of Neymar playing for PSG, where they were winning one nil. The opposition went down to ten men, and he started flicking it. It wasn't. It was in the game. It wasn't. It didn't look completely out of place. It was one of those the Aussie uh, uh, Osvaldo. If anyone's seen that in Escape to Victory, the little flick where it goes over his head. He's tried that one. JJ Okocha's done it. JJ Okocha. There you go. That J- exact one where he flicks J- over the someone's head. That's the one. And Neymar's done it also for Brazil in the, in the I think it's the World Cup, he flicked over someone's head and they almost went on and scored. But he got booked for it in the game. The referee went up to him and said, yeah, Cut I think that it, out. I think it was the, the um, he booked him for dissent and like arguing back, but That's the right. referee should have not gone over and said, Stop that because it's a skill. It's, got, it's, like, it's like the referee coming over to me and say, Stop doing um, step overs. Yes. That, that's, that's so that's what, yeah, that's what Neymar's point was. Saying, "What are you on about? I'm, I'm this is he had two plays on him. So this is the way I was trying to get out of the situation. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. That's utterly yeah. ridiculous. It's over to you, gang. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Uh, Wellead is a Nottingham Forest fan. The first call of the week, Wellead. Make it a good one. Good evening, sir. Evening, Jase. Evening, Jermaine. How are we? I'm very oh, good, well thank you. indeed. Now you are a Forest fan. Were you at the game? Well, he just, he? I was at the game, yeah. I wasn't too far from where it occurred. Right, okay. Um, I'm a Trent end. Um, I mean, in isolation, it doesn't bother me. You know, if Richardson wants to do that, that's his gift. He's, uh, he had a bit of stick from the Forest fans because he took a hit 10 minutes prior. Um, the only thing that bothers me is the aftermath and everyone talking about it because to those who didn't watch the game, it implies that Forest can compete. And in all honesty, I think we more than held our own against Spurs and I think we were unfortunate not to come away with the game with at least a point. So I think that's the only element of it that frustrates me. Um. Yeah, so um, me and Kundi was talking that if you had a prolific goal scorer, you would have certainly, most definitely come away with the game with something. Do you agree? Yeah, I mean, you say that, Jermaine, but we had, I mean, the front three look pretty good. They, they combine quite well. Um, but... It, you know, it's a results business and the stats will tell you we had 17 attempts and only one on target. So I think it's just a case of, you know, we've, we've had to invest as much as we have to. And, you know, we've, if you look at the, the squad at the minute, there's 26 players, including the player that we signed today. So it's not as, I know people talk about 19 new signings, but we've had to do that to rebuild. Mm. Um, Dennis got a bit of a run out yesterday. Um, it's going to take time for these lads to gel. But um, I think first three games, I wasn't too sure where we'd end up at the end of the season. But I saw enough yesterday to mm. suggest that we'd be good enough to to compete in the league, and we should be fine. Uh, we just if we play against uh, other teams in the same manner we did against Spurs, who are probably arguably the worst team to play that system against, then I don't see why we won't uh, compete this year. Yeah. Well, a great call, listen. Thanks for it as well. Look, I, I thought actually Forest were over the course of the ninety minutes between the between the two boxes with the better side. But football really doesn't matter about two boxes. It matters what goes on inside the box. And the truth is, Spurs were better in both boxes. And Harry Kane is just one of the best strikers out there right now. And you give him that sort of space for the second goal, and for both goals, Jammer, for that yeah. reason, he's going to punish you. And that is a hard lesson for Forrest yesterday because they played really well, but so well. ultimately, it's about putting the ball in the back of the net and keeping it out the net. And Spurs done both better. Yep. And um, Forrest, uh, if they stay up, it's going to have to be home. It's you going to be very, very hard to go there. So if they're going to stay up and they want to stay up, it's going to have to be their home record. No disgrace losing at Spurs, though. Oh three seven one seven double two double three, double four. 